Hey guys, I hope you've had a good Thanksgiving. Um, I am filming this on Thanksgiving, sort of as my intro. I've had this video for a while now. I just haven't filmed an intro or outro for it. So I'm just like, so, I don't know. So let's get on with the video on how to cure your fish from fish eye. Fish eye. No, not fish eye. Popeye. You know, not not this type of Popeye. Um, but the Popeye, like, that their eyes literally pop from their head. So this is the Molly that has the Popeye. You can see that one of her eyes is a lot bigger than the other one. Um, I just noticed this today. She might have bumped it on something. I'm not sure. I know that no fish attacked her because, like, if you look closely on their, their tails do have, like, they look like they're bitten, but if you look closely, you can see in person that it's not actually bitten. Um, it's just how they always were, especially this one. Like, this one looks severely bitten, but she's really not. Uh, they're moving really fast. Um, I don't know if you can see her Popeye. You can sort of see it. It looks like a white casting. Sort of like she's about to shed, but fish don't shed, I don't think. Um, so yeah, it's Popeye. Um, it's not because of the parameters in the tank. I just tested it right now. And yeah, this is either, this is like in between both of these. You know, it's not high or anything. So, you know, it's not because of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to isolate her. I'm gonna put her in our hospital tank, which is actually just a 2.5 gallon bucket. So I have put her right on my little shelf thing. My beer dragon's up there, and then here's just some makeup. There is a spider, which is a reveal for a future video on how to care for them. And then my Molly is in the 2.5 gallon bucket. With Papa, you really wanna try to catch it early, because like, you know, the more advanced it is, the harder it is to treat. You might recognize this bucket from another video that is from my beta video when I basically used this 2.5 gallon bucket as a um, quarantine hospital tank. Popeye can be fatal, but um, I'm gonna try my best to, you know, like save him. This is the Molly that's like fine, you know, her eyes are normal. Um, you could try to prevent it by using either aquarium salt. But I use Epsom salt, you know, multi-purpose. I want to make sure that it's safe for you to eat. Like, you know, safe to ingest so that it is safe for your fish. The water conditioner that I use is Prime. I put it in a little dropper, which is right here. And this just helps me, like, dose the tank better. I put one, two, three drops per one gallon. I use a gallon, like, you know, a juice gallon. A gallon of juice when you buy like orange juice or something and it's like exactly a gallon you could just empty it out make sure that it's washed obviously and you want to put one teaspoon of aquarium of aquarium not aquarium salt of epsom salt i don't know aquarium salt i don't use aquarium salt to one teaspoon of epsom salt per one gallon and that'll help prevent it i guess that she just had an injury and that's why she has that not 100% sure, but what I am doing to treat her is I put one tablespoon of one tablespoon of Epsom salt in here with the water, and hopefully that'll help. You can also use certain products to help with um, the Papa. You could buy antibacterial food for them, but I really want to take the more natural approach. I'm just gonna use Epsom salt and just time, I guess. I don't wanna dose them with chemicals. I just, I know that it's basically medicine, but I just, I don't trust myself with it. I feel like I'm gonna put too much in their tank. The products that you could use though, that I found online that people use and it works are, I'm gonna insert them right now. Um, it could be caused by, as I said, a fungal infection, poor water parameters, even though my water is fine as I just tested it. Um, you really want to do a lot of water changes, especially in this tank. 
in the quarantine tank, but I'm using a bucket. <laughs> um, uh, you know, and hopefully she will survive um, because I really do want her in my saltwater tank. Popeye isn't usually contagious, so I just want to treat her better in this tank without a lot of stress since she is by herself. Alright guys, so this was about a week later. And as you can see, her Popeye is completely healed, and all I did was, like I said in the video, all I used was Epsom salt and water changes. And of course, water conditioner, because like you need water conditioner in your water when you do water changes. Those white spots on her, I'm not totally sure if it's ick. I'm freaking out, and I think that it is, so I will isolate her for a while. Um for a while she's already isolated but like I will still have her separated from everyone else while I get that cleared up um, if I do clear it up I will make a video on how I cleared it up but that's like you know for a different video not for today so yeah that is it guys I really hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know some ideas for videos in the comment section down below um, please don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos. And don't forget to hit the notifications to be a part of the notification squad. Have a nice day, guys. Bye.